trustees. <coughs> See, we don't even know in this community. What's the job of the trustees? Keep the money in the place where I'm They're the rule holders. They're the stuff keepers, right? So, you mixed it up with a whole bunch of people and they turned on fire but weren't burnt up. And you understood that, what were you smoking? <laughs> what were you drinking? Who fed you? Where did you eat? Did you eat with them? Did you touch them? Uh, they're cast out, right? It's an automatic disconnect in communication. The church is this way. But God cannot be boxed. This amazing presence of God that we have, continually and repeatedly in our sacred story, is showing up and shaking us up and saying, begin again. It's the story that we had from John this morning. Those Jesus people are arguing with the trustees. The trustees are saying, no, no, no. We know how babies are born. We've seen it a million times. There's a man and a woman that da 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 shoots them. Four. Right? <laughs> and the Jesus people are going, no, 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 no. It's about being born of the Spirit. We're all brothers and sisters. It's they're totally and completely missing each other. It's a disconnect. When we meet God, when we move beyond the box, when we make an intentional choice to open ourselves to the Holy One, when we make a decision to commit ourselves to God, and all that means, this deep, deep loving, we have to move beyond the boxes. The church is not this building. The church is not the trustees and the bylaws, for heaven's sake. Oh. <laughs> I'll probably burn forever in UCC hell that I've said that. The church is not the bylaws. The church is this presence, the presence of the Holy One that we shine out from within us like a fire, a contagious fire that can light up this world. We become transformed in those moments of knowing the Holy One. And that transformation changes who we are and it empowers us. We start thinking about, oh my gosh, Maybe life isn't all my boss says it's supposed to be. Maybe I can be more than my job. Maybe it's beyond nationalism that we should care. Maybe it's beyond elections in America. Maybe it's beyond having 7,000 people sitting down together saying the same exact words. Maybe this God is so crazy and dynamic and such a mystery that wherever we are on the journey, we can be inspired to become whole and healed and be born again no matter where we stay. And in that beginning again, in that transformational, in that new dimension that we are, so much will shift for us that we will not go back. But instead, our hearts will burst to begin in a new way. Seeing one another. <clears throat> wanting to know your name. Wanting to hear your story. Wanting to believe that together we're a stronger, more united, whole community of people. Hallelujah. It is Pentecost. You are the city of Jerusalem. We are all kinds of people here. Republican and Democrat, believe it or not. 
<laughs> brown and black and white and yellow and red and all those purple. We are gay and straight and in between. We are trans. We are all sorts of people here. We speak all sorts of languages. We come from all sorts of backgrounds with a little and a lot and everything in between. And hallelujah, this day, we are invited to begin again, claiming and being committed. That word that's translated love, love your neighbor as God loves you, that word right there, that love word, that's really the word for commitment. English. Are you committed? You may doubt God. That's part of the journey. You may totally deny God. That's even okay in our journey. But are you committed is the real question. In spite of where you are, in spite of what part of the journey you're on, are you committed to meeting your needs and meeting the needs of your neighbor? Are you committed? Are you committed? It's Pentecost, people. And we're standing here in the flames of presence. I can't wait to see what you're going to do. Let's pray. Oh, Holy One, fill us up with your presence. Help us to feel on fire with your unconditional love. Transform us. Help us to know as much as we know the bones in our body that you are with us and calling us out from here. That you can not only see who we are, but you can see who we might be. Help us to move one another, to love each other so much that we're ready to meddle, that we're ready to get involved, that we're ready to love real love of being the witness of you in this world. Hallelujah. Thank you for the celebration day. Amen. 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 Amen.